So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a realistic window reflection. So there's two pictures I'll be using for this, and I'll leave the links for them in the description. So the first image I'll be using is this one, and you want to pick an image where a window wouldn't look out of place. So with this one, it looks like she sat at a coffee shop or something. And this is the second picture I'll be using, and this will be the reflection. And for this, you want to think about what would be on the other side of the window. So I've picked a street with a tram going past. And in the layers studio, you want your reflection picture to be above the main picture in the layers. So I'll need to change the blend mode of the reflection. So I'm clicking on that layer and I'm going to the three dots. Then I'm clicking here to change the blend mode to screen. Then I'm going to the adjustment studio and I'm adding a levels adjustment. And I'm dragging that levels adjustment onto the reflection. So when you drag it on top, you'll see this blue line going across. Then I'm dragging the black slider to the left to reduce the shadows. And I'm doing this until I can see more of the main picture than I can of the reflection. So about 70% is good for this picture. Next I need to blur the reflection a little bit because no reflection is that sharp. So I'm going to the filter studio. I'm clicking here and I'm clicking on blurs and I'm turning on add live filters. Then I'm scrolling down to Gaussian blur. And right now the blur is on top of the levels adjustment, but I need it to be on top of the reflections picture. So I need to drag the blur and place it on top of the reflection instead. So again, you'll see that blue line going across. So it'll be underneath and slightly to the right of the reflection picture. And then I'm bringing the radius up to six pixels. Next I want to change the opacity of the reflection, so I'm clicking these three dots and I'm bringing the opacity down to 75%. There's one last thing I want to add and this is completely optional, so if you're happy with how your picture looks, you don't need to add this. But I want to add a little bit of glare to the window, so I'm going to the rectangle tool. I'm changing the colour to white in the colour studio. And I'm dragging across the page to get a long and thin rectangle. Then using the move tool, I'm going to rotate it to go diagonally across the page. Then I'm adding a Gaussian blur to it. And then I'm bringing the radius up high enough until there's no harsh lines anymore. Then I'm clicking on the rectangle in the layer studio and I'm bringing the opacity down quite low to 30%. Or you can change the blend mode to soft light and you can bring the opacity back up again for that one. 